Hi everyone and a huge, huge welcome to our WhatsApp training. I'm really excited to share with you how we can use loads of really cool online tools to help you maximize your businesses. I'm Claire Spencer. I've been forever with Forever Now for 12, coming up to 12 years, which is amazing. And I remember when I first started, it was all home launches, home trainings, traveling around everywhere. And oh my God, I crave that now. I really crave being able to go back and, and see people. But we didn't have any of these online tools. Facebook had only really just started to come out when I joined Forever in 2009. Um, so now we have loads of amazing, amazing tools at our fingertips and WhatsApp is one of the biggest ones. So myself and the amazing Rahana Diamond is going to go through over the next kind of maybe 20, 30 minutes to share with you how you can use WhatsApp within your businesses to really help you reach people all around the world. And it just makes building your business so simple, so easy to do from home, to do around the kids, to do in between your job. It just is an amazing tool to learn so make sure that you listen to this and you upload whatsapp if you haven't got it and you embrace all those tools so what i'm going to do now is share with you some slides so that i can take you through um, how we use this so bear with me as i go slideshow all the technical stuff that goes on behind the scenes so I'm going to teach you how I use WhatsApp purely to support my team because when I started forever, WhatsApp didn't exist. So all of my network are on other forms of uh, who do you know list. I've got my social media. I've got lots of things like that. I purely use WhatsApp for my team and I've got a family thread as well, but they all buy from me now. So they don't need to be prospected on my WhatsApp. So I'm going to talk from an angle of using it to utilize as a team motivator, uh, support network. Rahana Diamond is going to come in and take you through how she uses it to recruit and she recruits loads purely through whatsapp so first of all you need a plan b if you've only got a team support page what happens if facebook goes down and things happen all the time and it's like oh my god i can't get a hold of my team what can i do we don't tend to really use email backups either so whatsapp is perfect to have that in the background of course that could go down too but you've got an extra layer of safety net and support there the team pages are brilliant they're a wealth of information you probably belong to one of the leaders team pages or you might have one your own of your own but it can be become very overwhelming and very scary when you've got somebody maybe shy or new who's come on to ask a question to a group of people whether it's 30 people or a thousand or 10,000 people in your team pages that is really really daunting to someone who's maybe not been in that environment before so by having a little whatsapp thread it's just a nice safe place for people to be able to say guys, is the propolis okay for this? Or guys, how do I reply to that? They're not necessarily going to create a post and put it on the team page asking for that. So it's a really great way of just keeping your team locked down and supported. So what I do and what I did, I, I really implemented WhatsApp massively at the beginning of lockdown because I realized people were feeling lonely, being working from home, not being able to get out together. I know lots of my team used to go contact marketing and do lots of things together and they can't now. So what I did was I individually, I invited them all to this WhatsApp group um, and it did. It had a massive, massive impact on team morale. Um, it's like I, the way I explained it is you've got maybe the team page or if you do power hours is like the office and then your whatsapp is the kitchen the staff kitchen where you get all the gossip and you have your giggles and where the real stuff happens and you can ask the real questions and what i've noticed is that all of the people within my whatsapp group have become firm friends so i know that their their businesses are taken care of but they're all feeling like a family and that's a beautiful thing to watch 
So I have WhatsApps for lots of different people. So I've got WhatsApps for my global team because they might need a little bit of extra nurturing. So for instance, in my African team, they don't have strong data or if they were to have strong Wi-Fi or data, it would cost an absolute fortune. And many people over in Africa haven't got the means to be able to fund that, especially if they're just starting out in their business. So WhatsApp's a great way to be able to showcase the training. So the same training that we're doing now, I could do this on WhatsApp purely by sharing the slide. So let's say, for instance, I have these slides or if you've made slides or you've taken a photo of some, what you do is you pre you upload it. So I've written there how to upload a photo. So you just press the plus button um, on the left select the photo from your library, put it into your WhatsApp thread, and then you go down to the right and you hold down the voice uh, clip. You hold that down and you can just record a voice note. So you can do a couple of minutes, you can do nearly an hour if you wanted to, but really I try and do voice clips that are no longer than two minutes because I need to take a breath and they need to be able to process that information. So you can literally post the slide or photo and then do a voice clip talking through that as if you were doing a training. It does take a little bit longer and there isn't that kind of natural flow going on, but you're getting that information out to people. And it's really simple, really effective and people feel included. My African team feel so, so supported, which is really lovely. And just think about all those people that you know around the world that might have data issues, can't get on Zooms, can't download videos and stream things like that. This could be the perfect tool to reach out to them. So make sure you're using that for that reason. And I also have one for leaders as well and one for my open business. And there's all different ones that I have different people. So just a quick few functions that I use on my WhatsApp to help you. So as you look at your phone, so I've got my phone here and you will have, um, if I go into my WhatsApp, um, bear with me. So I've got my WhatsApp here. So at the bottom, you've got on the screen there, that little menu bar. So the plus symbol on the left-hand side opens up a menu and you can access your camera so you can take photos instantly that upload onto your whatsapp you can access your photo and video library which then obviously uploads anything that you've got saved in your camera roll any videos you've got room which takes you to facebook messenger so you can create a message chat with the people that are in your whatsapp or select a few people from there Document, if you've got a smartphone, which obviously you will have if you've got WhatsApp, you can upload documents from your smartphone from your notes as well, which is really handy to have. Location takes you to your maps. So again, if you want to pinpoint a location or do something with maps, you can do that. And then contact is the people within your contacts. If you wanted to upload a contact into your WhatsApp chat or suggest somebody meets up with somebody else within WhatsApp, you can put that in there. The middle symbol there with the little kind of square with a curved up corner, that's for your GIFs. So if anyone doesn't know what a GIF is, it is a lighthearted banter, pictures, movies, just very short little one second, two second clips. They can really lighten the mood. It's really, really funny. So have a little play with those. You literally get a choice of emotion. So you can have a happy GIF, a bit of a funny GIF, a sad GIF, a bit sarcastic. So they're really good to have. The camera symbol is just the same as the other camera with the plus symbol, it's just quick access. So you can just press that and it brings the camera so you can take a photo instantly. And then on the right hand side is your voice note. So if you do voice notes, it's different from Messenger. Messenger, you press and let go and it records it. With this, you have to hold your thumb down, which can become a little bit, you know, grip grip scary because you started to shake because you're holding it down so make sure your phone's in a nice helpful position when you get started because otherwise you do get a little bit of claw ache so those are some functions that I use every day within my whatsapp so you've also got on WhatsApp an amazing tool for support. So Forever have created a business info. And this is where you can simply contact Forever and you get an instant reply. So it's automated. So there's not somebody sat there in the office who's typing away replies instantly. They've preloaded 
all of the common questions. If you can't get, if they can't answer you on the, the instant reply, they will schedule for somebody to call you back. So you can get the detailed information that you want. But it's like I posted there, is propolis cream scented? And it brought up all the information of propolis cream, which was perfect. So if you need a quick, oh my gosh, how much does the aloe cost? Just put aloe vera gel and it will bring up the cost. It will bring up how much is in there. It will bring up how much to take. It will bring up the ingredients, a little description. So it's really handy for you to get quick answers. So all you do is you just install WhatsApp on your phone and then you you add that number so take a screenshot now of that number and you put that into your phone and that is the forever whatsapp and it is brilliant it's such a handy tool P team asked me claire what's this claire what's that i'm like go to whatsapp go to forever whatsapp and they learn to support themselves so this is a really really great tool to have and i use it every day because i don't retain much information so it can become a lot. So relationships do get built on our WhatsApp threads, but a lot of chatter can happen because they become friends. So if you've got people who work full time or have got a new baby or, you know, they're distracted and somebody's created a bit of a chat through something, you can have a hundred messages easily. So it can become really quite stressful for someone. So make sure you teach people to turn up, mute the notifications. And that is so easy. So you just go into the settings and press mute. That means it won't keep pinging and it won't keep alerting, but they just need to make sure at the end of each day, they scroll through, look at the relevant information. I do regularly put a video in. So there's a video there that I put in just a couple of minutes just to say, don't panic. This is a tool to help you. If it gets too much, don't stress. It's not a problem. We've got the team support page. Not all of my team want to be in a WhatsApp thread because they feel it's too much for them. But a lot of people also want to be in it because they want that to feel that there's someone there. So it might be that someone said no to them about the business. So they go on the WhatsApp chat and say, oh my gosh, someone said no. And they might've been a little bit rude or whatever. And then they've got 20 other ladies who come on and go, no, it's fine. Don't worry. You chase the nose, keep on going. This is what the business is all about. And they go away feeling great. If they didn't have that in place, they'd probably have a pity party for a couple of weeks and might even disappear. So this is an instant gratification thread as well. Um, Encourage your quieter teams to become involved. So it is, again, very daunting, but ask them questions. You can tag, if you put the A symbol and write their name or at symbol, write their name, it will bring their name up. So make sure that you're saying, you know, how are you getting on? How's things doing? If they're a bit quieter, encourage them to open up. Um, and as I said, it, it, it is a lot more than just business. It's a support network. It's a family. This is a lifestyle business. So really, this chat becomes a lifestyle chat. And people do stay where they feel valued and wanted. So we can't meet up in person. But this is the next best thing for keeping up daily morale, really keeping people going, sharing funny gifts, sharing funny pictures and things like that, and helping your team feel like they're really in a lovely, supportive group. And one of my big supporters in that WhatsApp thread is the lovely Rahana Diamond, who is now going to take you through how she recruits from it. I'm so jealous that I have... I don't have anyone on my WhatsApp that isn't in forever already. So you've got a wealth of people to work through. So Diamond, I really want you to share with everyone how you build your business with using WhatsApp as part of that tool. Hi everyone. Thank you so much, Claire. So my name is Rohana Diamond Davis and I've been in forever for nearly two years now. Um, and it's been fantastic. My background is I work in NHS, but I also work in education. Um, I'm a single parent to two amazing children. And to be fair, I wasn't actually looking for a business. I wasn't looking for anything. Um, but this business, you know, somebody introduced me to this business and I saw where I could just increase my income and build a legacy for my children. During lockdown, that's when everything changed for me. I decided that I wanted to build this business to a higher level than both my jobs. Um, I don't know about you, but lockdown was really difficult. Um, but what I did is I decided to use my WhatsApp more than my social media to recruit and retail products. And within that, that then got me two promotions. Um, this business is global. So I needed to use WhatsApp to reach people all over the world. So that's my story. I'm going to take you through the technical side of WhatsApp. So bear with me, because to me, it seems really easy. 
but I have to obviously try to get you to explain for me to explain it to you. So just bear with me because it is the technical side. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use WhatsApp to recruit and retail for your business. And it's going to be broken down into easy steps. So you may want to take pictures of the slides. So that might help you because I've broken it down for you. Okay, so first of all, you need to have your bio. So you can see what I've got. You need your bio and your profile. So just like what you've got on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you need to have your bio. So you literally click, go onto your WhatsApp, click settings. Okay. So you can see what I've got on mine. I've just put a business coach, health and wellness, aloe vera products, ask for more information. So what that does is every single person on your WhatsApp will be able to see your bio. So I've got people in my WhatsApp who are not on my social media. So even people like, I don't know, the dentist, the, or the plumber, they're not actually on my social media. Um, but they can see my bio. So you can upload a picture and sometimes that picture changes and the bio changes. So Valentine's is coming up. So I'll probably put something on my bio that says, um, get your Valentine's gift from me, hand wrapped um, and stuff like that. So you can change your bio constantly. So that's the first thing, get your picture and your bio. You go onto settings, you click on the top and you put your picture in and your bio. So that's the first thing. Secondly is your story. So just like you have on Instagram and Facebook, you can upload a story chain onto WhatsApp. Um, I prefer WhatsApp because it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can take a picture of anything. It could literally be, I don't know, a water bottle and ask someone how much water have you drank. It doesn't have to be business-like. It doesn't have to be professional, but it can be anything. And people really love looking at your stories. It keeps people interested. Sometimes I have like 20 stories throughout the day. So you can see one of my stories got 43 views. Um, and it goes down in a whole line, just like it does on Facebook and Instagram. And those things I sometimes just write, I can't even remember what day it is today. Um, lots of mine is kids and family, and then I might throw in a bit of business, but you'll see how many people have watched your stories. And you get to know people, you start building relationships. I've got people on my, on my stories, and I know what they're gonna do for the morning, and I can't wait to see their stories. One of the best things is that it can upload to Facebook. So there's a button that says, do you want to upload it to Facebook? So instead of going onto Facebook and trying to think of stories, your everyday life can be on your WhatsApp story and upload it to Facebook. So this is where it gets into the recruiting, the retail and relationship building, because you've got your profile, you've got your bio and you're uploading stories. So therefore, people are getting to know you people are getting to know your life, they're starting to relate to you. You're able then to build relationships quickly. So if you, you might wanna take a picture of this screen because it shows you how to update your status. It says my status. That's where you can put up your photos. You can put, put up videos. You can even put links to YouTube, loads of different things on there. But what happens is you can see the people who are looking at your stories. And you can see you'll get the same regular people. They're kind of being nosy and just having a look at your stories. You can also keep an eye on their stories as well. How, how I sell products on it, if I put, um, I don't know, a big video of me and my kids drinking yellow, I can see who's watched that video. And actually, most of the time, people will message and say something like, does it taste nice? You're always drinking this. And then I'm able to build relationships. But also, people who've watched it, I can then just quickly message them and say, hey, do you know anyone who wants to drink some of this? So it's become really easy for me. What I find is that people don't really want to comment on my social media and say, can I talk to you about business? Can I talk to you about the product? But in my WhatsApp, no one else can see. It's just a quick conversation between me and them. So it makes it so much more accessible. Um, and I get lots more referrals on WhatsApp because if they say no, I can then say, oh, do you know anyone who wants to drink this drink? And they go, oh, I don't know, actually, I, I can give you some details. Or, you know, they, sometimes people will share your story. So they'll put my picture on their story. So you'll be going through people's stories and you'll be like, oh, there's me. So it's a really, really great relationship building tool. So this is where you become a detective, because I find that on WhatsApp, 
people are putting their real life more than um, Facebook and Instagram. Obviously, social media, people only put the, you know, what they want people to see. Whereas on a WhatsApp, it goes after 24 hours, but it's like your real nitty gritty friends. It's like your real nitty gritty people. People put their real life on there. So you start looking at people's WhatsApp. So you can see under recent updates, where it says recent updates, you can click on it. And just like Facebook and Instagram, you literally press it and it goes to the next story. So I have a friend who goes to the park quite a lot with her children. Obviously we're in lockdown and I'll literally just put something like, oh, that looks fab, what park was that? And you literally just message um, and she'll text me back. So I know she loves enjoying time with her family. I know she's got little children. So I then can say to her, hey girl, do you want to get some kids products for your kids? Or do you know, I think you'd be amazing at this business. You're a great mum. You're so organised. And actually she's going to be joining in January. And that's only because I've been watching her WhatsApp status. She doesn't really put a lot on Facebook because obviously Facebook is very public. Um, so the whole world, even if you've got your things on privacy, it feels very public. But a lot of people will put more stuff on WhatsApp statuses. Um, you're then building a relationship and it doesn't feel like you're stalking the person. So I send recruiting messages a lot on Facebook, um, uh, on sorry, on WhatsApp, and it feels like it's so much easier and people are more receptive. So I can send 25 uh, recruiting messages, holding the microphone, like Claire has said, keeping your finger on them. And it doesn't feel like I'm stalking people or badgering people to join my team. It feels like I'm relationship building. So this is the voice note. So this is what I was talking about. Um, you just hold on to the mic and you can keep it, your finger on there. Um, I, I would say three minutes is maximum because you, know, you don't wanna listen and then just do another message if you need to. Um, and you, know, you can voice note, we had snow recently your snowman looks amazing how was it you're building a relationship um i would say the same thing that i'm saying on whatsapp i would say to messenger like you're doing your facebook messenger but on whatsapp it's just a little bit more relaxed and the kind of person i am i'm like hey girl that snowman looked amazing do you know what this, this it's just a great season to be in business is going well i'm winning do you know anyone who wants to join and win and it feels like it's so much more relaxed than me doing that on Facebook. Um, and so, and then you can do it worldwide. Um, so, you know, I might have someone who will message me on Facebook from Africa and I wanna be able to kind of get them off of Facebook. And so they will send me their number, I add them on WhatsApp and then it's a little bit more relaxed and you can send longer, longer videos on WhatsApp, so if you have like a five minute video, you can send it on WhatsApp, but you can't send it in Messenger. You can only send a video that's one minute, 50 seconds in Messenger. So I get them off of Facebook, get them into my WhatsApp, and then I can send my five minute video or I can send one of the teams because we've all got five minute videos that are quite generic and I'll send one of the teams five minute video. And it just feels so much better. Um, but this is how we recruit. This is how we teach our team do a lot more recruiting and retail. And for the team, especially for the kind of introverts, they prefer it on WhatsApp because no one else can see them on Facebook. No one else. It's kind of like they're hidden recruiters. They're hidden salespeople. So I have a big team. As Claire said, we've got really big team in South Africa. Um, building a team in Asia as well. And they don't always have access to Zoom and Vimo um, and things like that. So what we do is we do groups. Um, so we do a group because they all have WhatsApp. So WhatsApp goes off of their data. So you can have up to seven people. It changes all the time. So it could actually be more. Um, and you literally just add a new group. Um, so for the team, we add like South Africa training and we can call them all at the same time by video call or normal call. You can call everybody and it all comes up and you can see seven people all on your screen. 
So you do it all by your phone. You don't need to log into your Facebook. You can call, um, sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's a bit much, they, they change it all the time, but you can call everybody and everybody can see each other on a screen. So it's kind of like you're doing a Zoom, but you can't share slides or anything, but you can have that conversation um, and you can add people to the call as well. So we use that a lot. So even in the team in the UK, every Monday evening, we have a group call and actually we don't do zoom anymore because you know to send down a link and then zoom doesn't work and then i've got the free one and it's only 30 minutes we actually now just do it by whatsapp we just call each other um by whatsapp group messenger and we can see each other and there's no time limit on it the network is so much better and for us it works well as an international group and obviously you, you can do it for things like secret cell so if you're having a secret cell where you want to put people into i don't know a valentine's sale you can add however many people you can add into the group, but you can only call seven people at a time. So for Secret Sale, we had one and we had about 150 people in the WhatsApp group. So you can do that for Secret Sale, but you can't call 150 people. Um, it, will it will ask you to choose who you want to call. You've got all the tools. So that is how you build a business off of WhatsApp and you recruit and you retail off of WhatsApp, you build relationships. It's so much easier, so much quicker to do it off of WhatsApp. So build the global business, build the UK business off of your WhatsApp. Amazing, amazing information. And you're so great. At, oh, you can tell you're a teacher. <laughs> you're so great at presenting and your business has skyrocketed so quickly. <laughs> you created two managers underneath you within literally like a month of each other. I can't believe and that was that was from WhatsApp as well building those two managers that was from WhatsApp absolutely fantastic so give us feedback on forever somewhere let us know that you're using it if this has been valuable and I want to see everyone's businesses grow not just in the UK or wherever you're listening to your home country all around the world because this is a tool that is worldwide thank you so much Diamond you have been thank incredible you. and we shall see you all again soon bye bye, bye, -bye.